What's up everybody, this is Higa. Today we're here at Orange County Strength Club and today I'm gonna show you some ways that we can add some carrying in your training. All right, so what we got here are a couple of objects in the gym that can be added into your training. Uh, some of you may not have access to it, but if you do, uh, it doesn't really have to be heavy in my opinion. You can just use a couple of things, uh, whether it's a sandbag, a stone, uh, maybe a Husafel stone that we can add into our training. So today what we have here is a heavy keg, we have an Atlas stone, and we also have a Husafel stone. If any of you have ever tried to carry something in front of your chest, especially for the big guys, the heavyweights, it sucks. It's super challenging. Uh, you have all this weight forward on your chest, it's resting on your diaphragm, it's cutting off your air, and it's a real mental and physical challenge to get it through. But I really think that if you add it into your training, it could be super beneficial. Why? Uh, we always are lifting with bars, like, you know, squatting, benching, deadlift as powerlifters and stuff. Sometimes it's good to add a little bit of athleticism and also some conditioning when you have a front-loaded object in front of you because uh, the lactic acid dump is just... It gets pretty nasty if I got to carry something super far, as far as I can, you know. Uh, so the goal is, if you can, maybe set up a distance where you can pick up one of these objects and go back and forth as you know far as you can, and try to work on that mental toughness for not dropping it because it's going to get super tough. But really, got to dig in. Yo, keep breathing. Come on. Let's go. So it's super important. Like I said, it's going to be hard to breathe. The first couple uh, laps will be pretty easy. But after a while, when it's hard to breathe with this object on top of you and you're a big guy trying to run forward with all this weight on your chest, it's really going to work on your conditioning and dig in onto your mental toughness.
need to do these exercises inside a gym if you have the space to do it. Or if you have a parking lot just like this, we got all the distance we can do. We can mark off more than 100 feet if you had to. So you got a couple of options. Do it outside or inside. So I hope you found this very helpful. Add it into your training. Uh, carrying odd objects is awesome. It sucks, I get it. But if you can add this into your training, it'll make you a better athlete, whether you're a power lifter or a strong man. You know, if you have the items to use it, by all means, go ahead and get them. Uh, you can also use a sandbag as well, or like even a heavy uh, medicine ball if you have one. I hope you find this training useful, and if you want to check out more training articles on Big on the Basics, click on the link here. Shut up and train. Aloha from Higa.